welcome to the She BBC office. I am Johnny Shyness, reporting live as we prepare for today's big debate. In the red corner, Ed's lovely hair for tree. He's, he's been up for the past 72 hours preparing for this week's debate. What a nerd! And in the green corner, Alto T Cactus. The T stands for the destroyer. Find out what these titans will be arguing about today, right after the final week of adventures in Adventure Florida. Hello there. It's Wednesday on the CBBC channel, and would you, Adam and Eve, it, we're having a big debate! <laughs> and as you can see today, the topic is worms versus... X. The letter X. D. <laughs> the letter X. D. Yeah, you may as well pack up your little xylophone and your x-rays and go home, right? No one ever won a debate about a letter. Oh, D, oh, D. Yes. That's a bit of cool thing. It's not the coolest thing. Hacks, clute the flute. Yeah, X does on occasion mark the spot, mm. yes, for buried treasure, uh, yes. Hacks, moon. Oh, I'm not giving you that. Mm. The X-Men could have been called anything, <laughs> right? No, they could have been called the K-Men or... The P-Men. Well, not the P-Men, that'd be a bit weird. But... No, f forget the cactus, children. Ignore him. Ignore him, because has the letter X... Ugh. I was going my worm on the ah! xylophone. Has the letter X ever made... You, you be careful ah! with Wallace there. M one of these! Look! Ooh, I'm good, this! <laughs> no, it's not a bin. Oh, no, this oh, is a wormery. No, it's, it's not a bin. It's a wormery. Oh? It's a wormery. You fill it full of worms, right? right? And then you put in food and uh, you know that you don't need anymore, or a paper waste like ah! that. Oh, that in there. Oh, oh. And then the worms eat it all and make lovely compost. It's a miracle of nature. You should like that because you're a plant. Yeah, lots of, lots of banana bee. No, most plants don't eat bananas. That's just you because you're weird. Anyway, what do you think? What are best, worms or the letter X? Shh. Email in to cbc at bbc.co.uk and we'll see you after. What's that? What's that you say? News round? All right, it's a clever little worm. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Hello, you're <laughs> Ed Nout Show. We're having a big debate about what's best, worms or the letter X. Oi, oi. <laughs> yeah, can you stop that, please? What? No. no. It's just, just a bit annoying. What's as annoying as that? <laughs> yes, I know that the word xylophone begins with the letter X. So what? <laughs> well, I don't see why that means you have to keep playing one. Can you just anyway? You've been emailing in about what are best worms or the letter X. Ryan from Bristol says I like worms more because what? I collect. Yes, he collects them as pets. See, he says they're wicked and slimy and I annoy my sister with them. That's a great pet, isn't it? Because annoying sisters is one of the best pastimes ever. I've got a boss. You've got a song? D. Ryan, I'm a flunk. No, Ryan isn't a flunk. D. No, he's a much valued viewer who has very right opinions about the whole worm letter X debate. So please email in. Tell me how great worms are or the, or the letter X if you're deluded like... Outro, and we'll see you after the free phonics. Can we run the next trail, please? This is starting to get on my nerves. Hello there. It's Wednesday here on the CBBC channel, and that means that we're having a... Do your job. That's right. I'm Ed, and I'm all about worms today. I love worms. And Outro, he likes... Yeah, the letter X. D. Just a letter versus worms. D. Worms are fantastic. They're, they're good for the environment, which is why I have my wormery here to turn paper into compost. And also, I've compiled some worm facts to dazzle you with now. Yeah, why not us have a bit of spoory? It's not boring. The yeah. preparation is clever and it's going to make you win today's big debate. Fact one. Stop that. The longest worm ever found was almost seven metres long. Yeah, that a loss. It's not a lie. Ah, yeah, I've got a fibro on this. 
how could it fit through the door? Hey. No, it does. It wouldn't be walking through a door. It I'm lives underground. I got him in the middle of the mercure. We'll have to fit in a car. Why would a worm be in a car? They live underground. Or a bungalow. A bungalow. No, it's irrelevant. It's not. Anyway, no, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's have a look at some of your emails. You've been emailing in in support of either me or Outro. Uh, Jessica emailed in to say X is the best. Yeah. Without it, you couldn't have kisses. Pirates yeah. couldn't find their treasure, and you could don't do that. <laughs> Make me feel ill. Uh, and you couldn't play noughts and crosses. All day. All day. Who wants to play noughts and crosses anymore? Eh, I don't play noughts and crosses. You play noughts and crosses. Me. Really? What, what would you rather play? Mario Kart or noughts and crosses? Noughts and crosses. No, you wouldn't. Oh, just for the purposes of today, you're being all. Oh, this is a good one. P please, please, that's so irritating. Uh, Georgie, age 10, in Surbiton, listen to this outro. This, this will change your opinion of worms. This is a very sad email. Today at school, me and my friends found a worm. Soon after, he died. So we had a funeral for him. But one of the boys who was playing football chucked poor Wormy over the fence. And that's why I, for one, am supporting the worms. What do you think, Oucho? Oucho? Oucho. You weren't listening. Composing a song. Yes, I don't know. Anyway, that's going in the wormery. Lovely, lovely compost. Please keep emailing in to CBBC at bbc.co.uk and we'll see you after Prank Patrol. Hey, hey, outro, I've got a hilarious prank. Look at this. Well, hello, hello, welcome to the CBBC channel. If you just joined us, hey. we are having a big debate. Yes, a big yeah. debate. And today's hotly contested subject is what's best, worms or the letter hex? hex. And what are those on your face? Now let me hook grass, dude. Your X ray specs. The. So, so if you're wearing those, you can see right through me? No, they. Really? Oh, oh, how do I look then? <laughs> oh, I bet I'll make a handsome skeleton. <laughs> oh, hang on a bit. Oh, I can't believe I fell for that. Dang. Oh, I'm such a sucker sometimes. Yeah. Right, right, no one listens to Alcho and his rubbish x ray specs. Don't know that sway you. So let's see, how's this big debate going? <coughs> well, so <sorry about> that's <coughs> Rhiannon in Wiltshire. Emo didn't say, we think worms are the best. Yes. Because they make compost to make our vegetables grow. Yes, like in my wormery. Also, please tell Outcho that his musical instrument is not a xylophone. Xylophones are made of wood. Oh, yes, that was this uh, instrument that I pushed off the desk earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, so if it's, um, if it's not a xylophone, we can get rid of it again. Bye. Uh, Bethany and her nan in Bradley, Emo didn't say, I think the letter X is better. Ah. If there weren't any worms, my nan would save money on worming tablets for her dog. Uh -huh. Yes, but see, her got, she got her nan involved, so uh, this is CBBC. That's disqualified. I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that in my wormery. Ah, Please keep emailing CBBC at bbc.co.uk, and we'll see you after Tracy Beaker. Oh, we're going to have some lovely compost. <laughs> ah,